Hi, welcome to Jones Joy Mindful Relaxation and Kindness Program. My name is Nancy, and today I want to talk with you about gratitude. But before we begin, let's get settled. So we're gonna do a stretch where you bring your hands behind your head. Good, and look up, take a breath, open your elbows wide. Look down, take a breath, deep breath. Come back to neutral. Tilt to one side, deep breath. Good, and other side, deep breath. Good, let's twist, look over your shoulder, deep breath. And other side. Deep breath. Good, and come back and let your arms relax. Good, and just sit back in your chair. If you want, you can close your eyes or you can just look down onto your desk. Notice where your feet are touching the ground. Notice where your hips are touching the support underneath them. Notice where your hands are touching something. And notice the air coming in and out through your nose. That was some stretching and a body scan to help get us centered and relaxed. They're pretty easy to do. And like we talked about last time, if you ever feel stressed, those are good things to help you just calm down and get relaxed. All right. So today I want to talk about this word gratitude. And another word for gratitude is being thankful. And another word for gratitude is appreciation. And I think when, when I think of these words, I think things that I am just so, so happy that the people or the events or the things that are in my life. So who am I grateful for? I'm grateful for my daughters. I'm grateful for my parents. I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful for the people that teach me things. I'm also grateful for some things. I'm grateful for nature. I'm grateful for food that I get to eat. I'm grateful for uh, dancing. I like to dance. So there's people I'm grateful for and there's things I'm grateful for. So I can think about those things every day. And really what happens when we think about being grateful for things every day, like maybe three things, and we could even make a list, we feel happier. I think about in that um, little show, The Grinch, that we see at Christmas time, where the Grinch just becomes so grateful for the beautiful music that the people are singing down in the village that his heart grows, right? And that's definitely something that it feels like when I feel grateful and thankful and I appreciate, I feel like my heart grows. And that makes me feel happier. So that's a good thing to think of for yourself. What are some things that you can think of that you feel really grateful for? And could you wake up in the morning and think about those things? It's a good way to get happy. All right. So what I would like to do is to do a little guided meditation now on gratitude. So you know in meditations, we sit back, we relax our body, right? And you can close your eyes or you can just simply look down at your desk. Good, and let your body slow down. Notice your inhale and a long, slow exhale. Inhale. And exhale. 
So what we talked about is that when we feel happy and thankful and grateful, we, our hearts feel very full and maybe even a sense of peacefulness and joy. So let yourself settle deeply into your seat right now and let's imagine a cute and cuddly little cartoon figure of a turtle. It's not a real turtle, but just an imaginary turtle. And let yourself see him very clearly. He can stand on his legs and he has little turtle flippers and big eyes and a funny nose and a sweet smile and a twinkle in his eye. This is the Grateful Turtle. And when we think of the Grateful Turtle, it can remind us of all the things we have to be grateful for, even when we've had a rough day. Yep, it's great that if we can, even when we have a really hard day, be really think of at least three things. So little Grateful Turtle, he had a hard day at school. He just felt like things didn't quite go right and just wasn't the happiness he usually feels at school. So what his mama had him do and his daddy had him do before he went to sleep was to think about a few things he was grateful for. Little Turtle really liked to dance, so he was grateful for that. Little Turtle really liked to look out at the ocean, and Little Turtle was grateful for that. And Little Turtle was really grateful for a few people in his life that helped him get his food and helped him make sure that he had a good night's sleep. So at the end of Little Turtle's kind of rough day, Little Turtle was able to make himself feel better by thinking about some gratitude. So whenever you think of little grateful turtle, you can helpfully remember to say either out loud or in your own head, some things that you're really, really grateful for and help yourself feel better. And the other thing little turtle does was Little Turtle talks to his friends and says, you know what, you'll feel better if you can think of at least three things you're grateful for. So see if you can kind of bring Little Turtle into your heart as a way to think about how you're going to help yourself feel grateful in the future so that you can feel happier. And if you'd like, can open your eyes now. I have a quote, a quote from Winnie the Pooh today, and it's a quote from about Piglet. Piglet noticed that even though he had a very small heart, it could hold a rather large amount of gratitude.